Good morning everybody and once again welcome to the video. Uh, this video will teach you how to use Apache Hoodie in AWS Clue with a visual editor. So recently Hoodie is natively supported in AWS Clue visual editor and let me show you how you can leverage that and, and build transactional data lakes in a matter of minutes. So let me share my screen and get straight into action. Um, I have certain um, data points from my last video. These are some fake data points that was, you know, I had from a DBCM or sorry, a DMS project that I did. So I'm going to use this data set, but the goal is to show you how you can essentially leverage the glue to build transactional data lake. Head over to AWS glue, go to the ETL jobs, click on visual with the source to target, click on create. Over here, uh, this will give you a template. Again, you can choose the drag and drop option and again add a particular um, you know, source or a target or a particular action. So for this, what I'm gonna do is I have a data in this folder. So I'm gonna copy the S3 URI, okay? Uh, then heading over back to the glue. So my source is S3. So I'm gonna read from the source, right? And as you can see, automatically uh, the columns have been identified. And my target is gonna be Apache hoodie. So from the drop down, select Apache hoodie. The table name can be invoice, right? Uh, you can choose the table type as either copy on write or merge on read. As you can see, it's pretty intuitive now um, that AWS have this you know nice UI for you. Method type, you can choose upsert, insert or bulk insert. So you can choose that. Uh, so I'm gonna use copy on write. Hoodie record key, so now you can directly select from the drop down what record key you want. I want invoice ID to be my record key, which is a unique identifier. Uh, Precom key is used for dedupe purposes, so I'm gonna use an op a column uh, used for dedupe. You can select the compression type, and then this is the path where your hoodie data lake will be. So I'm gonna basically copy here, come back to the glue, come here, and instead of raw, I'm gonna call this folder as hoodie. Uh, that's it. Now, if you want to do a hive sync, which means if you want to query the data, if you want to create a glue catalog, right? If you want to catalog the data, you can click on create table in the data catalog. And then here you can give a database name. I don't have a database, so let's create a database quickly. So if I go back to here, so if I go back to the database, let's create a database called EDW. And then back to the glue, refresh EDW. Uh, then the table name can be tbl underscore invoice. Oops, tbl underscore invoice. Uh, click on the save button and once it is saved, now you can see automatically uh, AWS has uh, uh, generated a script for you. Now give it a name. Provide an IAM role. And uh, I think I have to give a job parameter, let me see. Yeah, so everything else you can pretty much uh, leave that to default. I uh, just wanna do um, that one and then click on save. So again, we are using a visual editor. It makes it very intuitive. Uh, you can again select source from S3. You can do from Kafka, Kinesis. Uh, again, there are various sources you can select. You can apply transformation, you can do a join and all these stuff you can do. And then you can select a target, which is again S3 and then you can select um, Apache hoodie uh, over there. Okay, so that's done now. Let's let's run, let's run this. Okay, so I'm gonna run the job. The job has been started. This job can take about about a minute or two, and then basically you will see uh, the hoodie data lake uh, created. So let's wait for this to complete. Uh, can take about a second or two. And again, I just wanted to let you know as well, uh, you can also use a hoodie marketplace connector, um, right? That is also a way to use Apache hoodie. You can also use Apache hoodie in AWS Glue 4.0 uh, natively by specifying the data lake format as hoodie. So these are all the different ways in which you can use hoodie on AWS Glue. So let me share my screen. And again, if you um, wanna supply a custom jar file, that's also uh, one of the ways in which you can use hoodie. So whatever works for you, uh, please feel free to you know use that. So the job is in the running state. This this will take about a minute or so, I, uh, about two minutes roughly. So I'll I'll be patient here and wait for the job to complete. And also you can see all the logs on the bottom section when the job is running. Okay, so. 
Uh, what I'll also do is I'll also leave the sample CSV file, the data file that I have uh, in the description. So upload it to your S3 bucket, try to use this and see, okay, what is the code? Uh, you know, what are the settings it did generate? So just, just take a look at it is all I'm trying to say. All right, so it is still running and the job has been succeeded now. It took about a minute or so, uh, heading over back to my glue. If I click on the database, I can see a table here called TBL invoice. And if I go back to my Athena at this point, I should be able to run an ad hoc query at this point. So do a preview table. And there you can see, I can see my data. And if I go to S3, if I come to the root directory, here you can see hoodie, DBO, invoice, and this is my base file and my metadata. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel for uh, more interesting videos on AWS and hoodie.